So for this example on how to download the unmanaged package, I've gone ahead and created a package that contains a Salesforce report. So with every unmanaged package, the first thing you're going to want to do is get the URL of that package and put it into your uh, search bar here. So first thing I want to point out is that here in the URL, we have login here. So what that means is this is going to allow you to install the unmanaged package into a production environment or a live environment. Usually with unmanaged packages, the best practice is to actually test it out in your test environment or a sandbox environment first before moving it into production. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do here. I'm going to go ahead and instead of login, I'm going to replace that with test and hit enter. And once we've done so, you'll see that all of my sandbox environments have now populated it under choose a username. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one and then log in. So now we're on the install page and we have a few options here. First off is what if existing component names conflict with ones in this package? Best practice here is to utilize do not install because you don't want to have conflicting components within your environments. You also have the option to decide which profiles will have access to the components that you're installing into your system. So you have the option for install for admins only, install for all users, and you can install for specific profiles. If you click on that option and you scroll down, you can see the access level per profile. And you have the ability to choose no access or full access. You can also set full access for all, all profiles easily doing this. For this example, because it's a report that I want everyone to be able to utilize, I'm going to go ahead and install for all users. Another important thing to take a look at before you hit the install button is take a look at the additional details and view the components that are within this unmanaged package. Looking at the package components, we can see that we're creating two resources. We're creating the folder that the report is going to be living in, and then we're creating the report itself, which is named test report for unmanaged package. Now that I've done all of that, let's go ahead and click install. Now, depending on how many uh, components are within the package is going to determine how long it's going to take for it to download. Since this is just one simple report, should be a pretty quick install, but if you had a lot of components, it could take a couple minutes. The installation has been complete, so let's go ahead and click Done. It's going to automatically take you to the installed packages within the environment that you installed the package into, and you can see all of your packages that you've downloaded. Here is the package that we just installed, test report for unmanaged package. Here you can see the package name, the version, what type of package it is, if it's unmanaged or managed, the version name, and also a description. You can also view the components here. And this is where you can install it if you decide you no longer need it or if it's faulty. So that's how you install an unmanaged package into your Salesforce environment.